So this week we're working on Scholastic News and we're work, working on this magazine, okay? There are three articles and we're going to be reading the first one today. So follow along, okay? Earth Science. Hunting her. Earth, Earth Science. <laughs> Hunting hurricanes. Meet a pilot who flies straight toward some of Earth's most powerful storms. As you read, identify one way that hurricane hunters help people on the ground stay safe. In September 2020, pilot Rebecca Waddington was flying off the west coast of Florida. Suddenly, strong winds slammed into her small jet. It was one of the bumpiest flights of her life. What was happening? Waddington was flying through a dangerous storm. It would later become Hurricane Sally. Most pilots try to avoid dangerous weather, but not Waddington. She is a hurricane hunter with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Waddington and her crew collect data about these deadly storms. Their work helps keep people on the ground safe. Super Storms This time of year is especially busy for Waddington. It's Atlantic hurricane season. The season lasts from June through November. Hurricanes are powerful storms that form over the ocean. They bring heavy rains and winds that can blow more than 150 miles per hour. Hurricanes that reach land can knock down trees, flood towns, and destroy buildings. Flying into Danger Knowing when and where a big storm will hit can save lives. That's where hurricane hunters come in. During a flight, crew members release drop signs from the plane. These long tubes are attached to small parachutes. As they fall through the air, drop signs record temperature, wind speed, and other information. A crew member on the plane sends all the information to the National Hurricane Center. That's in Miami, Florida. Meteorologists there use the data to try to figure out a hurricane's path. They warn people to evacuate or flee to safety if the hurricane is headed their way. Sometimes the data we collect is used to tell people to leave their homes and might save their lives, Waddington explains. That's definitely the most rewarding part of the job. Inside a Hurricane Hurricanes form when warm air from the ocean's surface rises and meets cool air above it. This causes storm clouds, rain, and strong winds. When winds reach 74 miles per hour, the storm is called a hurricane. Winds blowing on the ocean's surface push the hurricane across the water and toward land. Clouds roll in a swirling pattern around the eye. The eye is the calm center of the hurricane. An eye wall is the ring of clouds around the eye. The strongest winds are here. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to go into our um, packet. Okay. But before we do that, let me show you some of the features on um, on this on Scholastic News. Okay. Now we're going to work on our Scholastic News packet. Okay. We're going to do page one together. So are we here? Okay. It says, what I learned. Read hunting hurricanes, then follow the direction below, which we did that already. Okay. So according to the article, where do hurricanes form? Do they form over the mountains or over the ocean? Over the ocean. So you can circle that. 
Which word means scientists who study and predict the weather? Meteorologists or pilots? Obviously meteorologists because pilots are uh, people that fly a plane, right? Yes, Mr. Okay. Ever watch the news and the, the guy's telling you what the weather's going to be like? He's called a meteorologist as well. Okay. <laughs> so anybody that studies the weather is called a meteorologist. Pretty cool job, though. Okay, what do hurricane hunters do? Do they stop hurricanes or get information? Get information. Okay, they, they can't stop the hurricane. No, they could get information to warn us that we could take cover. Okay. All right, look at four and five. It says, um, complete the sentence. Hurricanes bring heavy rains and blank that can blow more than 150 miles per hour. Winds. Okay. Hurricanes hunters release long tubes called blank that fall through the air. Yeah. Drop zones. Like a drone, but they drop it. Um, yeah, D-O-P, S-O-N-D-E-S, -E all right, and this one down here at the bottom is a little long, so we'll be ready. It says, what kind of damage can a hurricane do when it reaches land? What do you think? It could flood the town. It could, it could flood the town, destroy buildings. Okay. Okay, destroy train uh, train tracks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, a hurricane. That reaches land can knock can knock down trees flood towns and destroy Buildings. Perfect. <laughs>